Hello big boys, hope you are doing fine. If you remember from the past week, we were expecting a pullback on the USD pairs and indeed it happened. So cold data, cold tool, shown to be an extremely reliable tool. Uh, and this week maybe we have a little bit, bit more of a downside to USD, but you already must sharpen your tools, your orders, because uh, we are about to see more upside uh, from here okay my friends so let's take a look on what we have this week but you already know before we start don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button so let's go friends uh, first thing that i want to show you is how usd was bought this week so uh, what looks to me is that uh, non-commercials, the speculators, they, they took the opportunity to load their their USDs and maybe, I don't know if today or tomorrow, but we are about to see some uh, serious USD buying. According to the Half-Life tool that we have, this is going, is going to start uh, after October 8th. So let's take a, let's pay, pay attention. And I don't know if you follow all the things that I say, but one, one thing that I want to ask you, please don't go short USD now, have a little bit patient because looking at code data, um, we are seeing extremes at every single pair that's trading against USD. So uh, we, we have to see, uh, we have to see it, have, it must happen some uh, strong upside to on USD. Okay, so check this friends. Uh, Check how USD was bought against LG USD, Euro USD, GBP USD, NZD, uh, not against uh, my currency, Brazilian Real, but against uh, USD CHF, USD GPI, USD Mexico, USD Russian. So every every single asset that trades against uh, US, uh, USD was bought this week. So. Um, <coughs> If the big guys, if the big boys are doing it, why? Why are we going to do the opposite? Okay, so that's it, friends. Uh, today I don't don't have a uh, big signals, big big things happen. But let's take a look on the Euro USD that is uh, uh, the thermometer for USD dollar. So uh, you will remember that we we were on the uh, uh, top pattern. Remember that we were in a top pattern, the marking closing, longs, and also uh, reducing, uh, <coughs> sorry, reducing, uh, uh, sorry, uh, reducing net positions. And so right now, what we saw on the past week is, uh, again, uh, net positions, cuts, okay? and also open interest cut what i was mean to say is we are we were not a, a top pattern so what we were seeing was net positions being getting closed and also net open interest getting closing but past week we saw the a different stuff we saw increase on net positions and also increase on open interest and now again we came back to the, that previous pattern. So this makes me think that maybe uh, this uh, box right here that we have, that we are trading the this similarity, okay? Uh, we are seeing this repeating here. So it's there's a great odds that uh, once the price took this, this level, if you want to know, this is 1.16500. Uh, once we took this, we have a big ride to the downside and why i think the and why i'm saying this uh well if you are uh, already uh subscribed here you must know but if you don't uh it's just because of this just because just because of this okay this is my friends this is huge check these guys were never so so long on the usd never can you see this blue line so what do you think is going to happen when these guys start to close this, all these longs yes that's it the price is going to drop and if we look into the past what happened uh when with similar positions like this 
let's say that we are talking about uh, uh, 1,800 pips. So let's take this from the top, 1,800 pips. We are talking about uh, price parity. Okay, my friends, and I, we also have uh, estimated data for it. I cannot remember now, but it's in one of, of the videos. I will look and I will add some place here. Okay, friends, uh, that's it. So if you see a spike on Euro USD, short it. If you see uh, this price level getting taken, short it. Okay, friends, that's it. That's the approach. So let's take a look on the other one. Okay, friends, let's take a look on USDCHF. This is one pair that I haven't commented past week because there's there nothing to comment, but check this. Uh, if you remember, we had this uh, selling power, okay, the, the non-commercial selling power, and we went very close to this level. And right now, uh, what we saw from past week to this week was a big cut in shorts. And this happened exactly at a point, check here, where price really like to to react from and this this chart is a, a weekly chart so if we think about this we can easily go again to to the to parity okay friends so um my approach on usdchf is i'm going to to buy the if if i saw some spikes to the downside i'm going to buy and i also if i saw price this price levels on weekly getting taken I am for sure add to my positions. Okay, my dear friends. So let's take a look on the other one. Okay, let's take a look on GBP USD. And before I'm going to, to explain something, uh, every, not everyone, but I, I get a lot of questions about why the numbers that I'm seeing here is different from the numbers that I'm seeing on the CFTC website. This is why, the reason for this is that I use um, not just the positions, but I use I use positions and options. And why I use options? Because options is an option, is also a position because in one time or another, these positions will get converted to a position. Okay, my friends? So let's move. Uh, GBPUSD is on that category that stop shaming me, stop shaming me because uh, <laughs> every week that I say that's going to go up, to go down, and that's going if i'm saying it should go down go up so what i'm going to say this week if you're a smart guy you are going to do the opposite just kidding friends but is we cannot deny that from the past week to this one we had a, a massive increase on short positions and if we take a look on uh, okay just a, a, a one thing i'm completely dis disregarding what's happening to uk and brexit right now i'm just analyzing positions and can you and if we if we consider what we are seeing on the code data uh, the what we should expect is the price to go back to this level of 1.27 and we are talking about uh, let's say 200 pips that's it and see right now we are uh, we can call this a very temporary supply zone and so our stop loss is extremely cheap at, at this, this price level, we're, we're talking about uh, 50 pips against a potential of 250 pips, and to, to be honest, okay? So uh, let's just check on the daily. This is weekly, check on daily. If you have, if you had uh, some, some near supply zone, the next one is 1.34. Let's take a look on four hours. Yes, on four, four hours, we have some, we are already inside this interesting supply zone that is uh, recently formed. So this is fresh. This is good. Okay. So uh, this, uh, if I'm not wrong, I have a position on this already. Let's see. Yes, I have a small position on this. So let's see how things evolve. Okay, my friends. Uh, let's take a look on the other one. Friends, the next one is all the USD, and this is super interesting. Not because just of all the USD. Uh, you also remember from some videos ago that I, I talked about the, how copper and Audi is they are highly correlated and check this We had one two three different sell signals for uh, copper and Let's see for Audi USD 
we had one cell signal for all USD and check the check positions for all USD. Big cut from one week to another, a huge cut. To be honest, we are talking about seven thousand eight hundred and forty-three contracts. So you can say that we saw a cut of fifty-four uh, percent. Okay, so this is this is huge. This is something for us to consider. And if we go on copper. Check this, copper, where are you, my, my son, copper, come here, okay. So if we take a look on copper, we are going to see that the, the, the situation for copper is even more extreme. Check this, my friends. This is a trading opportunity that I like to take. See, on 10 years, this is the time that we are the most long, the most long. And as we already know, copper and odds, they have a huge correlation. So if this thing starts to drop, my friend, copper will drop too, okay? So what you have to do right now is to find a place to to add to or to, to add or to open your your trading positions, okay? I can see one here at 0 0.74 and another one here at 0 0.7. And so we can see something like this or we can see something like this. I don't know how it's going to be your approach. The important things, the important thing about this is you don't go long, okay? This to, to, to resume, don't go long. To summarize, don't go long. Go short and use your best setup, find for entry points, points and go short out the USD, okay, my friends? So let's take a look on the other one. So friends, that, that's it for this week. I want to thank you all for watching the video until here. And if you want to join, to use these nice tools that I coded, and enjoy the trading room that we have with really nice guys, and take all the signals that are generated by me, by the bots, and be inside the community and share your experience and hear from us, please join us. You are welcome. And that's it. I see you on the next, next week. Bye-bye. See you.